Go ahead, buddy. Uh, 2024 people i'm in anime expo not inside or like in a parking lot i'm probably gonna wait i i kind of bit the curve in 4k low-key because like i should have came like at least like two hours earlier it's like i woke up at six six in the morning yeah and then i left at seven but traffic was pretty bad so it was like 40 minutes so i think i came like 7 40 and everything kind of opens at 10 so i'm hoping to go in the convention center within that time frame. Hello people, this is Squash Corner and I went to AX 2024. Oh, and is it worth your money? Cause it was kind of expensive. So for four days spent 120 and I want to tell you my overall feels, you know, the good, the bad, the ugly. Most of it was good actually. So I've been going for almost like 10 years. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not gonna like it's been a very rough time like I want to say for the first like three years It's been cool, you know, not many it was not that crowded And then as time progressed they got really bad meaning like I'm talking about last year and previous Where they put as much booths as possible where there's like no way to walk uh, It wasn't very organized. There was only a few locations to actually enter the building So you had situations where people are waiting to get inside anime expo for like two hours if they're not early enough It's a whole mess but this year, I could say that it felt very organized. Like, they really upped their game. This is kind of like... It threw me off. It, it threw me off because I'm so used to the heated battle, if you will. So, like, an example I could give. I'm so used to waking up at 6 in the morning to get there just to get there, like, decently early, right? And then, yeah, I went 6 in the morning there, and then there was people. But since there was five... They added more places to enter the building which means that it wasn't as like hectic to actually get inside the building which is amazing so for example oh and not just that they opened everything kind of early s so usually the big thing that you go there for it's almost like a mall it's called the exhibit hall that's where you buy stuff from vendors it's a great time you get there early for you to get specific merch that you want because if you're not early enough then um there's so many people who usually show up that you're gonna the line is gonna be capped and you can't get anything for this i feel like everyone up their game not even just expo just the vendors themselves they had so much stock it's like they knew how bad this event could be that anything getting sold out wasn't really an issue until like the third day or the ending of the second day this is like a four-day event but the three yeah the three days are like what people go for the last day i don't even count as a day because barely anything happens and everything's sold out anyway so it's not really that exciting but it felt like everything was organized <clears throat> pretty organized and what's it called everything all right so i went to the ami ami booth pick up fumo swan akiba fest uh, i think that's what it's called got another fumo and then now we're at good smile because I really want that Hatsune Miku cinnamon roll combo, you know what I'm saying? And so far, so good. This is our third spot within like a time frame of probably like 30 minutes. So I think we're doing very good on time. And then so far, I don't think everybody's like inside the exhibit hall. So like, there's actually wiggle room to like move around. And the way like everything's set up, there's a lot of space like to move. Like, it's not like super, super clustered, I feel like from past years. But we'll see how it goes because this is the beginning when everything's like opening so maybe like two hours down the line it might get really bad but uh yeah we'll see how it goes there was only really two complaints that i have is one of it is if you go to a panel not all the rooms for said panel will be cleared so for example i wanted to see Frurian beyond journeys and they they had a panel so that's very exciting i went to it but they had a one piece panel before that. So basically anybody who saw that one piece panel were, it was able to stay in the room. And that's the thing, the room is very limited of how many people could fit in. So whoever saw that and went early enough was able to see the Beyond and yeah, Beyond Journey's End panel, fuck, tongue twister. So for me, I'm like sitting in the sad back and I'm like, I would have came earlier if I knew, but not all panels get everyone kind of booted for it to be like refreshed so that's annoying I, I don't i personally don't like that and i would like to see every panel kind of like be cleared out you know that's kind of um th th they've been doing this for like 10 years like ever since i went they always had this as an issue 
but I feel like, yeah, just clear that shit out because it's just annoying because it's like the people that went to the One Piece thing who didn't want to go to the other panel are just like, oh, might as well free show, you know? And it's just like, damn, it just it just feels kind of like icky. And I don't want to see One Piece. I don't want to. I'd rather see the other thing. And then so, so yeah, I'm like sitting in the sad back. I'm like, hello. Oh. And then uh, another one is just like a minor nitpick is that so if you wanted food, a lot of it was like from vendors like in trucks and stuff. So they had it like in the park like so the exhibit hall has parking lots because like it's one big building so like in the parking lot kind of section like it's not meant for parking they just have places trucks parked for you to get food but it's in like in the middle of the sun there's no shade there's nothing so you have people in lines to get food but it's just they're getting beat down by the heat i got scorched like i'm a very white boy my skin's very light so, like, that sunscreen, man, that shit pierced through that sunscreen. It was nuts. So, like, I became, like, a tomato. So, uh, they had cool little sections near the food trucks where it's almost like a little hut that has shade. But it's cool. It was actually even themed. Like, there was almost, like, like there's, like, little alleyways with shade. And then you could have, like, little tables and stuff like that and eat your food. But it was such a small little corner section. So, like, for example, like, in... Uh, let's just say a hundred people are trying to order food right like they're in line and all that stuff that spot with the shade you know that little cool area was able to fit like eight parties total while there's like a hundred people waiting for food that's another thing that was just kind of annoying i wish there was more shade outside because that shit yeah that shit was burning you damn my body low-key giving out i have to go to entertainment hall first thing to get my damn cinnamon roll Hatsune Miku Nendroid collaboration figure and uh, have to go like at the end of the convention center so you know wait in line to pick it up and then by that point I practically got everything that I wanted uh, and yeah that's the goal that's the goal if there's a hole so it's like sixty dollars for one day, and it's like one twenty. It was around that much for four days. I would say if you're somebody who gets tired within three hours, like you're just like, why the hell did I wake up six in the morning? I was here uh, for like three hours shopping, and I'm done. I would say just go for like a day, one day, and you'll be happy. Sixty dollars. You're there for a couple of hours, but like everything's so extravagant, you know, everything's so pretty, and it's you know it's practically one of the biggest anime conventions out there. I think it's technically worth your money. So I was just I was there for like twelve hours, just roaming around, looking at everything. There's a if I went by myself, and another positive thing I would say about Expo, there's so much to do at Expo that you would probably like you there's enough things to do for you to be entertained so for example there was spots where you could play little mini games for you to get like free things like i'm i'm into like blue archive right now they had like a little scavenger hunt thing for you to get a bag and a keychain stuff like that like that was very entertaining when i was tired there's a place called lounge 21 where they would play music and it was kind of a big vibe they were playing like fucking like dreamcast uh, like like a library of Dreamcast music like remix and it was kind of a huge vibe and you get a drink and just chillax and then get your energy back and then go out and then I was like running on protein bars and water that was like my life for a bit but like there's enough to do another thing too that I would say is I don't know if this is just the anime community or what but everyone was so stupidly nice. The vendors were stupidly nice. The people you would bump into are stupidly nice. It's literally a smorgasbord to start having convos with people. Something that's really funny too is that everyone's kind of a big nerd. I'm a big nerd. So no one actually directly talks to you. But if you talk to somebody, then you could have a conversation going for a while. You know, like because you guys are just into the same thing. Like I found myself in situations where like I bump into somebody by accident or I ask a question and then it leads into like a lot of questions and then boom like Instagram uh, you know like we, we share each other's like socials you know like everyone is so stupidly nice from my experience there overall do I recommend Anime Expo moving forward I really do I really do um, if you're somebody who is willing to you know deal a little bit of pain you know waking up stupidly early and uh, standing a lot but it's for your passion I highly recommend doing it. I totally get that this is not your thing, 
but this expo for the past like six years of anime expo this is one of the better ones and that's a very bold statement for me to say because i've been going to this thing for 10 years i want to say these this year was one of the better years i would say overall so hopefully next year they you know the same train continues the same positivity the same quality continues and I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully I see you guys next year in Anime Expo 2025. And I bid thee adieu.